Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up Webmin GUI on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this Azure Marketplace listing. From here, you want to create a new virtual machine. For that, simply click on Get it now and then click on Continue. And then from this page, click on Create. After that, you would be brought to this page where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have. Choose a resource group by either creating a new one or choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call it Webmin GUI. After that, choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. Scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more and make sure that the size or the disk size is according to your requirements. After that, for the authentication, you can either opt in for SSH public key or the password protected access. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the SSH public key. After that, you have the username. So give a username and when you're satisfied, simply click on review plus create. After that, it is going to run some validation. And once the validation is complete, simply click on this button that says create. Now it is going to prompt you to download the private key and create resource. So click on it and store the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. And then simply wait for the deployment process to complete. After that, you want to click on go to resource. And then we want to connect to the SSH terminal. For that, we want to click on connect and choose SSH. From this page, you can see this command. Copy this command and either open up a new command prompt or a PowerShell and paste in the command. And then simply replace the private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the private key path, simply hit enter and when prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. Then you should be able to log into the SSH terminal of your newly created virtual machine. Now in this SSH terminal, we want to change the SSL tag for the webmin server. Basically, sometimes when you try to access the webmin server, it results in an SSL error. So for that, simply type in the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash webmin forward slash miniserve dot config and hit enter. In this file, simply come to this tag which is SSL and change it from 1 to 0 and then hit Ctrl O to save the file and Ctrl X to exit the file. After that, we want to restart the service of webmin. For that, simply type in the command sudo forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash webmin space restart and hit enter. After the webmin server has been restarted, you can connect to it using the external IP. For that, simply go back to portal.azure and go back one step or click on this overview button and copy the public IP address. Now paste this IP address in a new tab and add in the port number 10,000. That is because the webmin server works on the port number 10,000. So this is our webmin server. Now, as you can see, it is asking us for the username and the password. So basically, this is the username and the password of the users in the sudo group of our Linux on which the webmin server has been installed. Now, we have installed the Ubuntu operating system on our virtual machine, but we have not given any username or password. So there are two ways of going around with this problem. Either we can give a password to the root user or we can create a new user and add it to the sudo users group. You can find both of these solutions in the step-by-step -step blog post guide from the link in the description box. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm simply going to give the password to the root user. For that, go back to the SSH terminal and type in the command sudo space password with the spelling PAWSWD and hit enter. Now it is going to ask you for the password. So type in a new password, hit enter and type in the password once more, hit enter. And after you have updated the password successfully, Go back to the web page and refresh it. And then you can use the username root and the password that you have just given to the root user. That is going to allow you to log into the webmin GUI. Now in this dashboard, the very first thing that you want to do is you want to refresh all the modules. So for that, simply click on refresh modules. After that, if you want to install certain packages or maybe update the old packages, simply click on system and then click on software package updates. In here, you can see a list of all the packages that can be updated or installed. Select the ones which you want to update and then click on this option that says update selected packages. This is going to open up this list which is going to take a few moments to load up 
and after that you simply have to click on install now to install all of the packages so that should allow you to not only set up the webmin gui on ubuntu hosted on azure but also update the packages that are required according to your needs so that brings us to the end of this video so if you have any queries regarding this video make sure to leave them in the comment section and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing and for the step by step blog post guide and lastly if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel